Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have a haul. I have the box next to me. Um, this haul contains the Father's Day collection, or at least the majority of it. Um, it also contains the, um, what is it called? Chasing Rainbows collection. It's like a five bar wax collection we have, as well as a bunch of random other stuff that I ended up picking up. So, um, without further ado, let's dive in. We'll take a look. We'll sniff through some things. I have my handy dandy iPad so I can tell you what it's supposed to smell like and then, you know, what my nose thinks it smells like. So we'll get through all of that together. So first and foremost, um, let's go through the random things and then we'll get to the Father's Day stuff. So, uh, I picked up a summer collection. I think this is, uh, the summer collection, um, oil three pack, the sweet sunshine one. Um, this has the scents, uh, calamansi and coconut, jasmine and coca bolo, and beach berry smoothie. This is currently, I think, still available in our summer collection. Um, don't quote me on that. Actually, I can just look for you and tell you right now. That would make sense. Survey so says, yes, it's still available. So, um, calamansi and coconut is bright calamansi. Uh, I'm guessing that's a type of fruit. And zesty orange peel cool off with a splash of coconut water. Jasmine and coca bolo is calming jasmine and coca bolo wood wrapped in the soft banana leaf. Uh, I am looking forward to that one. And beach berry smoothie, a sweet blend of juicy beach berry and vanilla ice cream garnished with lime leaves. So I'm not going to open these right now because I'm not about to use them. And not that oils necessarily go completely rancid, but generally speaking, you don't want to just open them and not use them for a while. And I know that I won't be using them in the immediate future. So we'll sniff through them at some point in one of my fragrance feedbacks. I also picked up uh, on clearance the Valentine's Day oil three pack. I didn't pick this up back then, but um, I thought it would be worth picking up now. I don't know if it's still available in clearance, but the three scents included our new love jitters, vibrant bergamot greets mandarin orange with a bouquet of jasmine, so citrusy floral. Um, pink berries and bubbly, strawberry and raspberry splash in a shower of champagne bubbles. So think of like pomegranate prosecco is probably along those lines. Um, and then roses and romance, soft rose embraces geranium beneath a veil of sparkling sugar crystals. Okay, so I got these, like I said, I am curious to try them. They are not going to be tried right now. Um, I have other stuff that I'm warming and getting through, but I'm excited to have these on hand. Also in here, I picked up some scent pods um in some of the summer collection ones cucumber and cactus water this is a great scent um i feel like in the pod version i get more of the cucumber in the wax bar i get more of like the sea salt and avocado clean fresh scent sort of vibes so take that for what you will kukui and coconut i love it in the wax um i get more of the nutty kukui nut in the um, scent pod on cold sniff than I do in the bar. Um, I don't know how that will perform because I haven't used all these pods yet, but, um, hopefully it will stay somewhat similar to the bar, but just be aware, uh, and this may happen with anyone's, not just specifically the summer collection, um, wax bar versus scent pod. There might be slight differences in the prominent scents or how it, um, disperses through your room. So just be aware of that. So some scent notes that you might not pick up on in a pod, you might pick up on the wax and vice versa, or if it's in like a body care product or something, that just happens across the board. No matter the brand, no matter the um, fragrance, it's just a, there's a chance that it can happen. So just be aware of that. Uh, fun little tidbit from someone who uses way too much home fragrance. <laughs> uh, I got one of Iridescent Pearl. This is one from our catalog. Coastal Sunset, another really great scent. And, and Johnny Appleseed. And the final one I got was Sandalwood Tangerine. We are going to talk about this, but we're also going to um, talk about the other stuff in the Father's Day collection when we get there, because that is one of them. Um, as far as other things go in here, I did pick up some bathroom cleaner because I was out. Shocking. I go through, it's very weird. I'd love to know what your Scentsy product that you go through the fastest is. For me, it tends to be bathroom cleaner. I don't know if I just have really dirty bathrooms or I just like, you know, use a lugubrious amount of this stuff when I'm cleaning it. I just love the word lugubrious. I don't even think that's the right context, but I don't care. Um, 
But I, I just go through bathroom cleaner like none other. Like, I have a stockpile of counter cleans to the point where I'm like, I don't need to buy counter clean for a while because I use it a lot, but I also don't go through it for some reason as fast. I don't know, maybe this is a foaming formula so that it goes through quicker. I don't know. Anyways, picked some of these up. I got Make a Splash to try, Coastal Sunset, which I love in general, and then uh, Johnny Appleseed, which is a go-to for me. Um... I love our bathroom cleaner. It's kind of like the non-crazy version of scrubbing bubbles. Um, it foams and it just, it works really well. And I'm very happy with it. Uh, I actually think I like it more than I like our counter clean. Um, personal preference, honestly. But uh, yeah, I really like our, our bathroom cleaner. So if you've never tried that, I would, and you really want to try a cleaning product, um, I would either suggest maybe the bathroom cleaner or just like the all-purpose cleaner that you can kind of dilute to your liking. Anyways, moving on. There's some stuff from... Oh, I got a, a fragrance mist of Shimmer. I love this scent. I already have like five or six of these stockpiled, but it's discontinued. It's in the clearance section. I think it still might be in there. Um, and I just picked up another because why not? All right, let me pull these out of the way for a second so I can open the bar box because I know there's a couple bars in here that are not part of the Father's Day or Rainbow Collection. So I like almost fall into the box. And then we'll talk about those two collections, which is probably why you're here in the first place. Ha <laughs> ha! If I can open the box. <clears throat> it's been a long week. It's, um, so I work at a dance and music school and we had the, uh, the dance. We had the music recitals last weekend, which were phenomenal. And this um, coming weekend are the dance recitals and shows. And so it's a lot of, a lot of behind the scenes work that we all do. Okay. So there's actually more scent pods in here. Ha 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 ha. Luna, Coconut Lemongrass, Mystery Man, Just Breathe, and Amazon Rain. These are ones that are in the catalog and have been in the catalog, so I'm not going to go and waste your time talking about them. I also picked up a mini fan diffuser in Slate because I was really curious. I like, so so here's why I picked this up. I like car bars. Um, I like them better than the scent circles, especially for the car. I think they last longer. But I feel like uh, scent pods give a more consistent flow. And the fact that I could plug this into my car and have like the equivalent of more synth pod strength uh, fragrance when I'm in the car just enticed me. So this is basically a USB powered mini version of our Sensi Goes. It's very tiny as you can see, it's like fits in my hand, in the palm of my hand. Um, it doesn't have an on off switch. It's like when you plug it into the USB, wherever it is, it's either on or it's not when you unplug it. Um, and it holds one scent pod, not two. But I really wanted a small little thing that could give me powerful fragrance in the car. And I just felt like, personally, the car bars do really well, but they just teeter out pretty quickly. Like they're strong, strong, strong. And then they kind of futz and they're just like background scent. Um, at least what I've noticed recently. So uh, what I have decided is I'm gonna try this. And if this works out better, then I just will stop buying car bars and switch straight over to pods, which might be a little bit more expensive, but then I can switch them out. They last longer and there's um, unmentionable hacks that you can do with them with one of our other products that I can't talk about. <clears throat> you didn't hear it from me. Uh, anyways, so let's move on to the bars that are in here. Also because I have a glass of red wine waiting for me that I cannot wait to break into. Um, all right, so I got a six pack of Kooky and Coconut Scentsy Bars for myself um, because I'm obsessed with the scent. It's like disgusting how much I'm obsessed with the scent. Um, and it's a great scent and it's long lasting. Oh, and it's a powerhouse um, for me at least. And like two cubes will fill up my entire bedroom bathroom space, which is like crazy to me. Um, and I can smell it all day and all night. So... I picked it up because I don't usually buy um, a whole lot of stuff outside of my club and I kind of put a temporary pause on like wax purchases aside from like new releases to sample and test out and let you guys know about just because I have so many and I'm trying to get through them a little bit more but uh, I made an exception for that scent because it's that amazing like just to give it in perspective 
All right, let's talk a little bit about the Chasing Rainbows collection. Um, because that is, you know, it's been out longer, so we'll talk about that first. It's five bars. Oh, I think it's June, right? Happy Pride, everyone. Um, and whatever else. Shenanigans. Um, so, this is a five bar collection. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, no purple. Um, I clearly don't know how to put my rainbow in the correct order. That's okay. So each scent is designated in this collection to basically smell like the supposed color it describes. So before I read you scent notes on any of them, I'm just going to do a really quick blind sniff of does yellow smell like what I think yellow should smell like? Does, you know, green smell like green to me or blue smell like blue? Um, I think we have, to some extent, a preconceived notion of, like, what colors we associate with what sort of scent profiles. So it'll be kind of curious to see if they just kind of pander to that. Or if it's literally like, well, lemons are yellow, so this is... Yellow is obviously a lemon scent, which it probably is. I mean, there's a lemon on the collection, so... <laughs> you know. I would hope there's a little bit more depth and dimension to that than that. Like, I want this to smell like sunshine and other yellowy things. Um... Not uh, yellow teeth, though. I don't want to have it smell like that. So let's go ahead and dive in and see. So yellow, unfortunately, smells lemony. And I don't know. I feel like this collection is such a... Oh, but it's more citrusy. So there's, like, more than lemon. At first, I was like, it's like squeeze the day. But it's like squeeze the day meets a hint of sun-kissed citrus or, like, tropic tango or something. There's like an effervescence too, like a little bit of Be Fabulous that's a little bit less muted and more lemony. I like it. I don't know if I'll like love it or want to keep it in like a club or something, but it is, it is lemony yellow. I don't know if it's really, I don't know if I go, oh my gosh, that's what yellow smells like, but sure. Green, green is next. Uh, there's a green apple picture on the front, so I'm guessing that's in here, but... Beyond that, let's see if this smells like what I'd envision green to smell like. Actually, yes. This one does hit that bark. Interesting. So this is like, to me, and again, this is on cold, so this might change. I do get the green apple. I'm not super wild about that being in here. But this is kind of... There is like a dewy, like green quality to this. This being a little bit overshadowed by this like green apple scent. But it's like that sort of like lush greens sort of scent aroma with like this green apple on top. Okay, that's not, that's not, I, I don't dislike that. I don't necessarily love it, but it it's more what I was hoping for when they were like, this is what colors smell like. Uh, blue is next. Looks like a sky in the background, so I'm guessing this is going to be another, like, carpet cleaner smell. Basically. Oh, God, I'm getting too good at this. Yeah, it's a little bit ozonic. It's a little bit like a mix between Febreze meets By the Sea meets, like, a hint of Clean Breeze. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like airs toward laundry and open air, but like then there's like a sea salty quality to it. It's kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't think that any of these so far have been m monumentally unique. I think they're very safe in their interpretations of these colors. So let's do orange next. I'm guessing there might be an orange in it. What do you think? Oh, that's, I mean, there is orange in here. Oh. There's something pungent about this. And it's not like vomit-inducing pungent. It's like perfumey pungent. That's weird. It's almost like there's cherry in this. Like, it smells like orange cherry. Watch, there's cherry in this when we go and look at the scent notes. Okay, well, that smells like cherry orangeade or something like that, but not quite as effervescent. And then finally, red. This has strawberries on it, so we'll assume it's, like, strawberry scented, which I hate. 
Oh, yeah, it's strawberries. Of course it is. Mm hmm Well, strawberries plus. What is, what is this plus? Something in here mellows out the strawberries. Maybe it's a melon. Maybe it's an apple. Maybe it's a pomegranate or a pear. There's definitely strawberry in there. But there's something that offsets it and makes it something that I actually enjoy, which is kind of weird. Um, so we're going to go through and see the scent notes really quick. But if I had to just label them right off instant first impressions, um, hmm. that's problematic. My least favorite would be... Weird. I think my least favorite would be orange. There's some weird perfumey note to this that is just driving me like bonkers and I don't know what it is. So this is probably my least favorite. Then blue because it's basically laundry detergent. Then um, yellow, not because I don't like yellow, but I feel like it's it's just like be fabulous without the same depth to it. And I like the scent, but if I'm rating it based on like how I feel like the uniqueness or color matching or whatever, I feel like it just it's very safe. Like but I do like this. So this might actually move up to like the second spot or even the first spot, depending on how the other two warm. But I'd say number two for me is green. I'm not wild about the green apple note. But there is, like, a lush green quality to this, so it does kind of lend itself to the interpretation of the color green. And then, surprisingly, I... I can't believe I'm saying this, but on cold, I actually like red the most. And I'm probably gonna hate it when it warms. Or not. But there's, like, a cherry note to this, and strawberry, and something, and the combination I actually really enjoy. It's, like, not obnoxious in any sense of the word. So let's go through these really quick with the actual scent descriptions because curiosity didn't actually kill the cat. So red is, okay, so here we go. Blue is sweet notes of melon shimmer against crisp blue sky while hints of musk add depth and dimension. I definitely give the crisp blue sky. I guess I can see what melon they're going for. But it just kind of smells like by the sea meets like a, a laundry detergent. I don't know. They, I think that they make it sound like it's something and it's definitely not. Like, I, I don't really get that. That combination doesn't really translate to those notes. It kind of creates that generic sort of laundry scent for me. Um, green. Vibrant rays of Granny Smith apples, which I'm not fond of, I, I guess, yeah. And cactus blossom sparkle across serene kiwi water. So there's the lush um, dewiness. The kiwi might also play into that sort of like sweet tart vibe. And cactus blossom. So there's a floral in here too. So this one I actually will say I can pretty much pick up all the things that they're claiming. Um, and it makes sense to me. And it smells pretty good. I think I will actually end up really enjoying this one when I worm it. All right, orange, bright tangerine and orange slices shine between clouds of creamy vanilla. Okay, so this is like, yeah, that's what it is. It's like if you had orange, what is it called? Like dreamsicle that we had and then tangerine creamsicle and you took the two scents and combined them together and then it kind of made a weird, awkwardly nauseating combination. That's what this is. And that creamy vanilla is like borderline vanilla ice cream. It's like kind of a richness. That's probably why I'm getting thrown off. All right, red, the one that I like the most. Soft watermelon hues highlight the sweetness of cherry and strawberry. Okay, so the missing note that I liked is watermelon. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy this bar. This is, this is probably good. Like, if the watermelon is authentic, I think there's like a watermelon cherry, whatever, and oh man... I think I would definitely... All right, cool. So my nose kind of knows. Yellow, radiant lemonade. So there's a lemon note, brightened by flashes of zesty grapefruit and pineapple. So it's it's basically be fabulous with pineapple. And instead of like a lemon sparkling note, it's more of like a... Well, I guess that's what radiant lemonade would be, but it's basically sparkling 
lemon, or this tastes like a little sweetened lemon with zesty grapefruit. I mean, white grapefruits would be fabulous, and then pineapple. So yeah, we'll just call this pineapple be fabulous. Just like pink rhubarb sugar is like the pink rhubarb version of be fabulous. So that's why it smelled so similar to me. So um, it's like almost the same. Uh, so I like this scent. I really do. Like I mentioned earlier, that's why I got like rating of three out of my five. It's not the scent that I dislike ah, as I throw it on the ground. Um, it's just, it's not something new, you know, like I would say that red is probably the, the quote unquote newest or maybe even green. That's why I rank those like one and two. We've had a million laundry like scents. You can't convince me that like melon alone and whatever they claim crisp air is going to make this such so similar. And maybe it does. Maybe the other scents have melon in them that we didn't know about. And this is just like, let's put all of the gourmand scents together and see what happens. So overall, do I think this bundle is a bad bundle? No. Do I think this is necessarily a very avant-garde out there, you know, experimental set of fragrances. Absolutely not. These are very safe and tame overall. But um, I think it would be a great gift for someone if you just really like some of those scent profiles or some of them sound like ones that you really love. Like, like if you love Be Fabulous or Pink Rhubarb Sugar, I would at least pick up the Yellow Bar because more likely than not, you're probably going to like it and it's going to be a little bit different than the other two. So it's just, they're, they're just safe in, in general as a collection. So that's all I'm going to say. I don't think there's anything wrong with the collection. I just, I think it's a very safe collection. All right, let's talk about Father's Day stuff. So I got the bundle <coughs> and the bundle for $75 US comes with all five, excuse me, thank you, all five bars and the body care collection, which includes um, the soap, body wash, I should say, um, cream shave soap. Is that what it is? Yes. I'm not a fan of this. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then, um, for the first time ever, a man's fragrance mist, at least since I've been a consultant, which I am so excited about. Now I'm a little bit miffed because this scent is, mm, we'll talk about this, but like based on the scent notes, sandalwood tangerine isn't hyper masculine or like, it's not like mystery man in fragrance mist form. Um, so in some ways, I think this is kind of Sensi's way of testing the waters, and I feel like the scent could be enough of a potential unisex scent that because of that, um, it wouldn't be, like, bad if, like, the, the male demographic doesn't jump on board with the fragrance mist idea. I mean, I'm all here for it. I love this because sometimes, you know, cologne's really expensive, and I don't really want to, like, refresh and spritz cologne ten times a day uh, sometimes, and then be like, where did my expensive cologne go? Oh, wait, I just, like, used it all up. So, that's why I kind of like fragrance mist, because it's like a burst of fragrance when you need to pick me up. Let's talk about the scents, though, Johnny. Stop talking about everything else. So, we have four... five scents. I don't know why I said four. Um, and I also don't know why the Scentsy four bar Father's Day bundle doesn't include the new scent. Um, so we're just going to go through these and talk about them little by little because I don't know why the scent descriptions aren't listed as easily. Anyways, let's talk about the, the new scent. This is the one that's brand new, Sandalwood Tangerine. This is White Cedar and a Spritz of Tangerine Brighten Sandalwood Groves. I adore this scent. Um, I'm not usually a citrus woody person. I like citrus occasionally. But I tend to just go for woodsy, more like fresh or woodsy, like bergamot or dewy and all that sort of stuff. And I need to adjust this because I think I'm on an angle for some reason. I think I hit that. There we go. Um, I love this. It's very cologne. And yet then the citrus like lightens it out. So it's not just heavy cologne. I would say this is more on the masculine scent for sure. But it could also be a nice, um, citrusy, woodsy, unisex sort of scent. So, it, again, it nods towards the masculine side, but, again, it's it's neutral enough that it could be unisex. Um, it does smell really nice. I do pick up the cedar. Um, white cedar is lighter than, like, traditional red cedar and a little less perfumey. 
um, sandalwood grove, so it's like a woodsy, earthen sort of note. And then a spritz of tangerine, so that's that bright note. And it's very, very much bright note. I love it. I think it's very nicely balanced. Um, this is going to go in my club and will stay there. I may actually pick up some more of the fragrance mist. Um, except you can't, because you can only buy it as like a bundle of what? Is that true? Can I not? We're going to test something really quick because I want to know if you can actually add the scent to the moisture medley. Oh, wait, you can't because the fragrance mist isn't part of the moisture medley anyway. Never mind. I stand corrected. So just kidding. If you just want to pick up the fragrance mist, you have to buy the whole collection. That's a disappointment. I don't understand that. Okay. Anyways, it's a great scent. Um, let's talk about our other products. I don't mind our body wash. I think it's pretty hydrating. Um, it's not the same as like Bath and Body Works, um, hydrating, ultimate hydration, whatever it's called, um, moisturizing body cream wash thing. Um, but it is akin, it's like a step up, I would say, or similar to most shower gels, a little bit more hydrating and a little less drying of your skin. Um, I do like that it's formulated with our, what is it, sunflower oil or whatever it is. I'm probably messing that up. Some oil. There's aloe. Yes, sunflower seed oil. Yes. So I do like that that's in here um, as a hydrator and a moisturizer. I just, it's, it's. Not my favorite body wash in the world, but I do enjoy these. I don't mind them at all. They don't bother my skin. Um, the fragrance mists I love. They last pretty well. They last quite a long time. Um, like I said, I wish I could just buy this in instead of the rest of the bundle, but if it if it ever gets split up or if it just goes on sale, then I'll buy like a couple of the bundles then. As for the cream shave soap, I am not a fan of shave soaps. I like shave cream. I like the lathering, foaming shave creams, but I don't like the two-in-ones. Like, this is, like, to me, this is, like, one of those all-in-one gimmicks where, like, hair, hair, face, body wash. Like, it works, but it's too thin to be, like, the foaming, lathery, heavy lathered shaving cream that I like, um, and it's not thin enough to just be, like, a cleanser for your face. Like, it's just, it's, not either. And I just wish they would either reformulate this or come up with two separate products, like a facial cleanser and a shave gel or shave cream. Like, I feel like just a shave cream. Like, why does it have to be a cream shave soap? Like, why do we have to be soapy in this too? Like, take out the SLS or whatever's in here. Is it SLS? Um, no. Looks like olefin sulfonate. Yeah. Anyways, whatever soap is in here, like take the soap out and just turn it into like a shave cream. Like, please do do that for me. Try it at least once. I feel like it would be a better sell than like this weird two in one that's a little just odd. But then again, if you like it, try it. You know, if it's something that you enjoy, I'm glad more power for you. I don't need it. The rest of the bundle comes with the other four Father's Day bar releases. Uh, they are Vanilla Bourbon, My Dear Watson, Business Casual, and Route 66. <clears throat> now, let's talk about these four because um, I have smelled all of them and I have very distinct thoughts on all of them. Let's start with Business Casual, which I think is probably my favorite of the four um, by a long shot. So, Business Casual is a fusion of exotic cardamom, intriguing caraway, lively pepper, and fragrant woods with a powdery wisp of orange blossoms. That's a mouthful. Um, this smells like a masculine boardroom, like white collar executive office. Oh, this is a cologne that, oh man, I want in cologne form, like actual cologne. Actually, I think I have a cologne that's very similar to this. I don't know which one though. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Um, you just get this really nice, sophisticated, manly cologne scent. And I'm here for it. Like, this is going in my club. I was actually waiting for it to come back so I could put it in my club at some point. Are you gonna bring back my bar? Turns out it just came back in a Father's Day collection. So, saves me the trouble of having to vote it. Now, if I could get everyone to vote for Shaka for me, life would be almost complete in terms of what I need in my Sensi Club. Anyways, 
I highly recommend that one. It's a medium performer. I wouldn't say it's medium strong. Well, I guess it's medium strong, depending on space. And uh, it's not a super powerhouse scent though. So it's not gonna like stink you out of the house. My Dear Watson, we'll talk about next. This is refreshing bergamot, contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede, sophisticated and smart. Yeah, you do get this. This is a little bit more minty. This is a little bit more of a, not like, Think of like fresh, clean hotel room. Like you just checked in, it's clean, it's fresh. It has that like osium sort of lingering in there, but it also, it's like mixing with your, your, uh, yours or your significant others, like cologne that you're wearing, whatever's happening. And it's just like that refreshing, like, ooh, what are we gonna do now that we've gotten into our room? Like, are we gonna go and have a glass of wine? Are we gonna lock the door and deadbolt it? Like, what are we gonna do? Um, that's what this kind of smells like to me. It's a great scent. It is a softer scent. That's my biggest gripe. It's a softer, like medium soft, soft scent. So great, great blend, not so great overall throwing. So if you want a scent monster, don't, don't waste your time on this one. All right. Next we have vanilla bourbon. I am not like a huge fan of this scent. Uh, warm vanilla and smooth. Sip of bourbon mingle under a hint of nutmeg. Um, it is that. Like, you do get a vanilla bourbon nutmeggy note. Like, it's very much true to what the scent notes are, which is nice. Um, it leans into, like, the bakery category. Like, the vanilla in here kind of gives me more, like, bakery gourmand nods than necessarily masculine cologne nods. Um... I am not a huge like whiskey person in general, so the scent or like the lingering scent of whiskey-esque things doesn't really do it for me. Um, so I'm not a huge fanatic of this scent, but it is fairly true to that sort of uh, scent profile. But just remember, it's a little bit more gourmand with the vanilla in there, so it's not just straight up boozy smell, which both helps in and hinders it a little bit. Like I would have liked it to be paired with more of like woodsy and like, something to offset as opposed to just vanilla. But um, clearly enough people liked it, they brought it back. And then Route 66, which um, a windswept drive in a convertible, an exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. This is, and I think I've described this before, this is like the spring summer version of Rustic Lodge. Uh, it's very much, um, strong powerhouse um it it's it's there it has a little bit of a t tinge to it because of the citrus herb combination it's a little bit biting there but it's not it's not like echo where it's super pungent and you're just like oh my god what is happening in this room this is a little bit more um you're outside at the, you know, lake, mountain, you know, picturesque scenery by the lake, you know, the little lodge house, whatever. Um, but it's springtime or summer, so it's like the deer and the whatever else are like frolicking through the little like meadow there and the clearing and, um, you know, you're, the sun is shining through, like you see the sun rays and it's like, you hear like the buzzing of the, the insects and there's like a little bit of humidity and there's just like a brightness to the air. Like that's what this is. You know, that's what this is. This is not like fall, winter, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. This is like the spring, summer away from the craziness. Uh, if you like something like, uh, I think it's Sensational's Take a Hike um, from, from like their Walmart collection. I don't know if it's still available, but it's similar. Like they're along the same line. So this is, they're not the same scent, but uh, this is, has nods to that concept without being quite as stinging or pungent or piney that, um, that particular scent is. So, and that's Route 66. I actually really like the scent a lot. Um, it's in my club. It's going to stay there. So I would say in terms of club worthy, um, out of these five, I personally have, um, which ones do I have in my club? I personally have, uh, Route 66, and my dear Watson in my club because they were from like older Bring Back My Bars. Um, I did not keep, I finally took the vanilla bourbon out because it's just not for me. 
I'm definitely putting in Business Casual and um, Sandalwood Tangerine. So there's that. That's all the bars. Last thing we're going to talk about is the warmer. Um, it is an element warmer. It's a father, Father's Day element warmer. Take that for what you will. Oh my gosh, I'm surrounded by Scentsy products yet again. Story of my life. Um, it's called a job, as I throw it, job, not so well done if I throw it, um, well done, in quotes, it's, um, a pun on the barbecue grill design that it is, ha ha ha, you know, like, well done grill, this is an element warmer, it is, um, eight watts, so I will say, um, Generally, I prefer a stronger wattage element warmer. However, I have been thoroughly impressed before. Like the uh, by the candlelight, those little like flameless LED lookalike warmers that we had for one February. Everyone was like, this is tiny. This feels dinky. It feels, you know, da -da 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 -da, it's low wattage. Those are scent powerhouse monsters for me. And they're only eight watts and they were just like cranking the scent out. So don't, I will say, even if you get a little bit scared by wattage on certain warmers, don't completely rule out that it may be just fine. Um, even, for example, like our, what was it called? Unbelievable or something like that warmer that was like 15 watts in glass. Um, would have loved to see it as a higher wattage, but it does melt the wax. Like, again, I wouldn't necessarily go and put really hard wax in there or a lot of cubes of wax, but if you're warming one to two cubes, it didn't have any problem with it. It warms through the Walmart wax is just fine. I mean, if you put it near a cold window, it's probably gonna struggle a bit or in like a really big room, it might struggle a little, but generally speaking, the warmers don't do um, abysmal just because the number might be a little lower. So we're gonna open this eight watt uh, grill. Can you imagine like actually grilling with eight watts of energy? I don't think you'd get anything accomplished. Um, it has this lovely um, top to it, to your grill. But the coolest part about this, it's a ceramic warmer, is that the back is all open. So like my problem with like early iterations of like lidded warmers was that there was no venting space and so a lot of times the scent would get just trapped in the lid and then it would be like well then i'll take out the lid and warm but then it looks ugly so very happy that the whole back of this you can see it's kind of a big dish too it's like or lid um is open so that's fantastic uh it will not have problems getting the scent out uh, I'm not going to plug it in because it's not going to light up or anything, but we are going to un- or un- whatever this is called. <coughs> Unbag it. There we go. That's what the word is. So this is the base. It is- <coughs> excuse me, ceramic. <coughs> Bless me. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's a ceramic warmer. Nice shiny glaze, except for the bottom. This is unglazed, so if you like sit it in like wet wax, that's probably not a great idea. It's a very deep dish. Like, here's my fingers, here's the dish. Like, that's a good almost two inches deep, not quite. So that's awesome, uh, especially for a ceramic low wattage warmer because that means that it's really going to insulate the heat. All right, so this is what it looks like. And then you put your lid on and you try not to break it. <laughs> and that's what it is. Very nonchalant. Uh, it doesn't have a light except for the light to tell you that it's on in the back. Uh, I actually really like this because it could be a nondescript, um, you know, if dad doesn't really want like a shiny mosaic glass thing or like your dreams or wish or life is what you make it and yada, yada, yada. This is a very fun sort of gift where you can still encourage home fragrance, but it doesn't need to be like encroaching on their man cave or whatever the heck, you know, beer dodge rams, I don't know, whatever else stuff. You know, for the people who are afraid that this is going to somehow emasculate them, you can get them a lovely barbecue grill and go, look, no one will even notice. Um, <laughs> or whatever. Or maybe someone just likes grilling. Like, I know someone who would love this warmer just because it's a grill. Because they're like a grill fanatic. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this back. Uh, it's a nice warmer. Uh, it is a little on the pricey point. So this is the one gripe I have about this. If you just buy the warmer, it's $60 US. That's pretty steep. Even for like a special like Father's Day warmer, that's pretty steep. Like, I'm gonna be very honest with you. Um, however, if you buy it in the Father's Day bundle, you get not only the warmer, but five bars of wax, which is usually like six times five, $30 worth of wax, because our bundles are usually six bars. So $30 of wax. Um, this warmer, which is worth 60. And then the moisture medley for dad, which is I think like 20 or 25 if you buy it by itself. So you're getting like a hundred and 20 or $30 worth of product for $75 US in the Father's Day bundle, if you buy the big bundle. So yes, the bundle is a little bit more than just buying the warmer, but only buy about 15 bucks and you get the added benefit that you get all the other things alongside it. Like the, the only thing I think you don't get is the um, scent pods of the sandalwood tangerine scent. How on earth do I put this back in here? Mm. I think I did this wrong. Ah, I have to turn this around. Um, side note, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, keep your warmer boxes because if you need to store some of them, especially the awkward shaped ones, they come in as a lifesaver. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think we're good. Mostly good. There we go. Uh, so that's the warmer, and that's pretty much the Father's Day collection. I think it's a fun little collection. I don't think it's, um, I think it's a better collection than it was, um, in some previous years. I think there's, like, more fragrance choice options for the bars. Um, I like that the fact that there's a fragrance mist, that to me is, like, one of the winning features. Um, and I actually really don't mind this warmer. Like, I feel like some of the other ones I felt were just kind of like, mm. And, and this one I actually don't mind. So I might actually go put it out on display just because. Um, it won't ever replace succulent warmers or like the really shiny mosaic ones for me or anything like that. But, but it's a fun one. And I uh, feel happy that I was able to snag it. And it was, it was a good on the bundle deal. So that is all that is in here. I'm going to go uh, house some of these things so that they're not just sprawled around me and enjoy my glass of red wine that has been waiting for me. It's probably now way too warm, but that's okay. Um, hopefully this is a wonderful video. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the slapstick moments. Uh, that's just me. <laughs> it was not scripted, I promise. I don't have time to script these. Um, but if you are new here, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Just so shoot me an email. Um, that's in the description box. Uh, or if you have any questions or you need to order some Sensi, please let me know. I do get back to the comments. I have been really bad at doing that as of late, but when I finally get a chance to, I do go through and try to reply or, you know, nod to each one of them as best I can. So thank you fall. Oh, thank you fall. Thank you all for tuning in. Tried to put two words together there. I will see you in our next video and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Take care guys. Bye.